What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I've got another very important AMC update to bring all of you this evening. So what we're going to be talking about in this update are some of the longer term technicals on AMC right now. There are some very key things that happened today that I want to kind of break down for you guys and explain to make sure you guys are aware of going into the next couple of trading days because tomorrow we have GameStop's earnings. Then the next day we have GameStop's shareholder meeting where they're going to be voting on that stock split through a shared dividend. We have a lot of crazy things happening this week and this past weekend. We broke a very important record for AMC that I wanna talk about as well, but we also have some very large banking institutions having significant issues. Now, we also have an Adam Aaron interview from this morning where Adam Aaron restates that retail investors minus the amount of shares that are out there um, that these ETFs and mutual funds need to hold that aren't actively being traded. Retail investors own 85 to 90% of all of the shares. So guess what? We still own the flow. So before we get into all of that information, if you enjoyed the information and analysis that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And again, guys, you guys have seen the amount of success that myself and all of my live chat has been having with the 1348 trading strategy that we have revolving around those 1348 crosses. We have two new algorithms coming for you guys very, very, very soon. Those bots that trade by themselves, over 40 private live streams every single month, alerts on over 850 stocks. If you guys are interested in that, make sure you check out that link down below in the description and empower yourself and really get yourself going on that path to financial freedom and taking it into your own hands. So AMC closed the day today at $14.34, down about 9 cents, 0.62%. Definitely not what we wanted to see after we were hitting highs of $16.65 in the pre-market. But when we take a look at some of the longer time frames here, there are some key things that have happened. Now, the first, so this is a little flash candle down here in the after hours. I wouldn't necessarily look at this wick down here um, and give it almost too much credence. It's this right here candle. Um, but when we take a look at the four hour right here, we did come down and do this 13 EMA test uh, on the four hour time frame. If you take that wick out right there and kind of look at where the low of the day actually was, it was right around 1391. And when we take a look at the four hour time frame and where this 13 EMA actually is, it's 1390. So we came right down uh, to that 13 EMA, bounced back up. Now the 200 EMA on the four hour is $14.73. Would it have been nice to close above there? Yeah, absolutely. We can definitely start to break above there though if we start to see some good news going into the end of the week. We start to see the momentum start to come back, the overall sentiment start to come up, especially after Top Gun this last weekend, which we are going to be talking about a little bit later in this update, but we are looking pretty good on some of these longer time frames here. Now, when we come over to the Ortex data here, let me just give this a quick refresh. We have 14.91% max cost to borrow, 9.93% average, 22.84% estimated short interest. There's a couple of key things here that I want to point out. One, we have new all-time high shares on loan of 175.56 million, but... When we look at the shares that are estimated to be sold short, 117 million, there's about a 58 million share difference uh, that they can essentially use to come out and short us whenever they see fit. So there's about 58 million shares right now that are on loan that have not been shorted. So some of those shares we definitely did end up seeing coming into the market today, even though we had an overall net return of shares of about 363,000. Now coming over and taking a look at, it, at GameStop really quickly, this data is looking absolutely insane. 640,000 shares net borrowed, 28.34% estimated short interest, 244% average cost of borrow with 325% max. Pretty crazy here. This data is really starting to remind me of what it was looking like in May and June of 2021 when we started to see those really, really aggressive moves to the upside. Now, in addition, 35.79% uh, of the free flow is on loan right now for GME. Now, let's talk about the pretty significant record that AMC beat over this last weekend or the movie theater industry as a whole. Now, if you remember the interview um, from Adam Aaron this morning, AMC itself sold about 3.3 million tickets this weekend, more than any other movie theater company. So again, we are number one. Top Gun Maverick jets to new box office record. The sequel to the 1986 blockbuster, which as Tom Cruise reprised his most iconic role as Pete Maverick Mitchell, made an estimated $156 million domestically for its four-day opening weekend. 
That is a record. That gives the film the record for biggest opener opening ever, the Memorial Day holiday weekend, overtaking Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, which made $153 million in 2007. Are you kidding me right now? People are want to come out here and tell us that the movie theater industry is dead, where as we're kind of coming off the pandemic, where people think that people aren't going to the movie theaters anymore, we break a Memorial Day record. That is an absolutely awesome thing to see. Now, quickly taking a look at the options chain before we kind of get into this big bank situation in which they are having very significant issues. Um, so going into the end of this week, I would not personally say that I'm really looking for a week by week gamma squeeze potential, but more of a month by month because those monthly options expiration periods are really going to be the ones with the most amount of open interest. Now, for those of you guys that are new that don't know what open interest is, it just means that that's the amount of contracts that people and institutions are holding in accounts at any given time. And that's what these numbers here are going to tell us. So for this week, 28,000 ish calls in the money right now in 2,759 puts in the money. So definitely geared towards the call side and the buy pressure that could come into the market makers. But for this June expiration date, we still need a little bit more upside uh, move in order for us to get a lot of these puts out of the money and a lot of these calls in the money. And that's really gonna be right around, I believe it's 16 to 18. So let's take a look really quickly and see what that number actually is to get a lot of these puts um, out of the money and these calls in the money for this date here. So let's see, open interest right here. So going, oh, it's actually 20. Sorry about that. So 20 is going to be that really key level where we're going to be getting a lot of those puts out of the money and these calls in the money where we can see that flip where the market makers are really going to be starting to get to that net buy. Look at here, 26,000 calls uh, and right here, 17,000 puts with all of these puts back here and all of these calls down here as well. That would be a very, very strong thing to see, but we need to get there first in order to really have that conversation later when that time comes. Now, let's talk about this big bank that's having some significant issues um, that a lot of people were talking about today. So Credit Suisse right here. Everybody's kind of heard of Credit Suisse, the Archigo situation, the capital raises that they've been doing. Here comes another one. Credit Suisse is trying to raise more than a billion dollars after a string of scandals and executive departures. It's not necessarily what they want to see. Now, Credit Suisse told Reuters in a statement that, it's, it, that it is not currently considering raising additional equity capital and that it's robustly capitalized. It's going to be up to you at this point to really trust Credit Suisse when they come out and say that they're robustly capitalized when they've essentially tried to raise about $3 billion in the last year after taking very, very, very significant losses uh, from the Archegos blow up, which resulted in a $5.5 billion loss. And this Bermuda case right here, which included a $600 million fine to Credit Suisse. Um, so again, these banks are going to be having issues here. There is a wild amount of leverage right now in the overall markets. We've seen this with those CFTC reports. And if we continue to see the market acting as volatile as it is, specifically to the downside, these big banking institutions with a lot of these contracts on their balance sheet that they are on the hook for are going to be having some significant issues. Now, the last thing that I kind of want to briefly touch on. Um, so I tweeted this out really early uh, in the morning when we were watching this Adam Aaron interview, 8.44 a.m. was when I tweeted this out. It was right after Adam Aaron said this. He was asked by the CNBC reporters what he basically was thinking about the state of retail investors right now um, who are investing in AMC. And he reiterated that retail ownership of 80, uh, 85 to 90% of AMC, if you subtract the amount of ETFs um, and mutual funds that need to hone, hold AMC, um, in, in their ETFs and mutual funds in order for them to essentially operate their ETFs and mutual funds. Sorry about that. So, so that's what we're looking at here. So 85 to 90%, nothing has changed. Sorry, my brain just kind of glitched out there for a second, but that is going to wrap up this update on AMC. If you guys enjoyed the information and analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. It costs you nothing to do it, but it really helps us out a whole lot in getting this information out to as many people who want to learn. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. So I hope you guys are having a great evening and I'll see you guys in the next one.